today we're doing a good old fashioned get ready with me trying a bunch of brand new makeup. Hi, it's Trixie, we're back on the channel. And today I am dipping into tons of really good brand new or a few months old makeup. And we're just gonna get ready. I have no reason to get ready today. We have the podcast later and I'm gonna do the podcast and drag, but I really just want to put on a big, nasty, colorful, buffed out, blown out drag makeup. I want to wear color today. So that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna have really nice tanned skin. This is my real skin color, by the way, when I don't fake bake. Look at the color of my, look at this, look at that. Isn't that crazy? So when I talk about fake tanning, I know what I'm talking about. Cause look at, this is the real me. So I'm gonna glue my brows down and we'll be right back. So I covered my brows. I didn't even do a very good job today. I'm just like, when I when I don't have to be in drag, I'm like, I'm gonna do as much work as I feel like doing. So we have a lot of products here. Got my Fix Plus. This is a great product for when your skin is dry. Mine feels, a little traumatized today. This is the Fix Plus with Rose, which I'm not to be an old lady. I love the smell of Rose. I got these naked Urban Decay Stay Naked Quickie Sticks, 24 hour wear, multi-use concealer. I was thinking of using these for foundation. It's scary to try to like try new foundation because you just hope you Hope for the best. You know what, let's let's try to hope for the best. I'm gonna use my one size Secure the Sweat primer. This is a nice primer. I mean, I tested this primer at Stagecoach and even this primer could not help me at Stagecoach with sweat. Primer is interesting though. It depends what you like. For some people, they want basically like a thin lotion. Some people want spackle. I tend to like more of a spackle and this is pretty thick. This, this feels like putting glue on my face. I know that's kind of insane sounding, but I weirdly like it. Let's see how that might work. One of those concealers that smells like bubbles. I know that's kind of a weird thing, but you know how bubbles have that weird smell? This, this concealer kind of smells like bubbles. This is really light though. Let's see. This is a nice coverage. I mean, wearing concealer as foundation is a dangerous game because concealers are usually formulated to set quickly. And that means later when you try to blend over it, it sometimes gets mad it'll start to like ball up. We famously did that video in Milwaukee where my concealer started to come off my face. So I don't want that to happen today, but I'm really fair right now. So let's just run with it. Let's be really fair. This is just what's happening. So how are you guys? I'm just still a drag queen living in America, which is crazier and crazier. You guys, this is really too light for me. <laughs> it's really light. This is really light for me. I think I might have to pivot here. I think I'm living in a dream. I'm living in a fantasy. I'm your own little nasty girl over here and it's just not working. But you know what? Let's just try it. What's the worst thing that could happen? Well, I could look like shit. That's what could happen. I'm going to do something unprecedented, which is to admit that I was wrong and try to pivot. I have the quickie here in ADWO and I'm just going to make, make a new color. This is worse. You guys, I really think I might have chosen a concealer that is not gonna work as foundation. This happens, this happens in the world of makeup. Sometimes you try things and you're on a journey. This is nothing against this product. Again, I'm using a product the way it's not supposed to be used. So this is all my fault. It's just been crazy, you guys. I can't tell you behind the scenes. This whole drag queens on the news being called pedophiles and stuff, you guys, it has really bled into like every part of my business. It's really crazy. Not like bad, not like financial hits or anything. I'm doing, you know, fine, but the way brand like now that it's Pride Month and the way all this has been going on the news, brands are different. Brands that I hear from every year haven't reached out or like weird things like that where I'm like, people really watch the news and think that drag queens are pedophiles. It's really crazy. But I also have gotten so many people reach out who've never reached out before. Brands that are like, hey, we think this is all bullshit. So we want to work with you. So it really goes both ways. I don't know what they're thinking. Like when you make rock and roll illegal, people just want to listen to rock and roll. So I don't know what they think. This looks horrible. But let's keep going. I am going to grab a foundation and like go over it because this is not serving the tea. You guys, I'm going over it with some Superstay. I just like, it's, it's really not made to be a foundation. And I'm figuring that out in real time. Superstay is magic. This foundation is magic. We've been using Superstay by Maybelline on this channel for like three years now. It works. It's amazing. Look how that just saved the day. What I should have done from the beginning is just a clean, thin layer of Superstay and then used the concealer on top. That's what I should have been doing. So my goal and hope and dream is to use these quickie concealers to kind of shape out my face as I go. So I have a much lighter shade here, 10 NN, and I'm gonna start just pre-shaping this face. I've talked about it a million times on the channel, but if you build your highlight and contour into your foundation, your makeup's basically done once you powder. Look at her, ha ha! Look how that forehead, without even contour, now it has shape. When we had Jade on the channel, you guys saw she basically highlights and lets her skin tone be the contour which is like why she's so gorge. Wow, okay, this concealer as concealer, which means like putting it over foundation or just one, one area, very pretty. In real life, you guys, this looks so flat and clean. So we have this uh, Barbie Glam Light 
liquid liner. I remember we tried this and I don't remember if we liked it, so we're just trying it again. Let's see. I do think with some makeup products, you gotta give it two chances. And upon second use, I can confirm this is not for me. I don't know, it's not giving a nice clean line the way a pen does. And I guess it's better on that side. Then again, again, I'm not using this product the way a normal person does, so. Yeah, so normally we recap products at the end, but this, whew, Absolutely not, absolutely not. Okay, we got this from Beauty Bay, this retro love palette. And I remember unboxing this and being like, we gotta try this. Look at these coolers, you guys. Look at the coolers. Who is she? I gotta put these blues on my eyes. I don't make the rules, but like, I'm so horny for this like green or blue right here. I just gotta do like a big, I gotta, I have to. This color's called Magic Moment. Oh wait, these are all retro songs. Okay. This magic moment. All these colors, Chapel of Love, Heartbreak Hotel, Blue Suede. These are all retro songs. Love Me Do, I like that. I wish this was a little darker, but let's just get into it. I love these types of teal colors. They're just so unnatural as eyeshadows. So slutty and weird. Slutty and weird. I have a new brow product. I'm obsessed with these brow blades from Urban Decay, but I've been wanting to flirt with the idea of switching to this color Ginger Snap because it's a little warmer. Let's see what it looks like, okay? And my hope is that because this is like teal eyeshadow that this doesn't look like red on me, but I like the look of warmer brows. So let's see what happens. I don't think it looks too red at all. Honestly, it's a little similar to Cafe Kitty, which is the other one I use. This is definitely more like red, but they're very similar. Well, let's do the concealer around it and then we'll decide. So I'm gonna take that Quickie product we're testing. I haven't decided if this is for me yet. I think this might be because this product has a wand, right? It looks a lot like shape tape or something like that. And then it also has a little buffer on top. So I think the whole spiel is you're supposed to paint it on and then use the top of this as a tool. But I would never do that. This might be for like sloppy whores like you who like don't wanna use brushes, but for me, I probably would never use that thing. So even if I like the formula, it's kind of a wasted convenience on me. That looks nice, huh? I mean, I do like this color on me. I would totally use this. I just don't think it's that different compared to my normal brow color, but it's called Ginger Snap and it is, especially here, you can see it's a little more ginger. If you have, red, orange, strawberry blonde hair. You can't really get away with those ash blonde pencils. You do need a little bit warmth. So I totally get that this is for someone. To me, it just looks pretty normal. Love this color, you guys. This teal, this magic moment color, love her. It's the color of like what I, I don't know, like a retro car. The kind, I'm so stupid. The kind that's like with the fins. I'm not a car person, okay? And I'm not a car person. I'm gonna do this to this side and be right back. All right, so we're caught up here, very beautiful green eye. This has this color called It Takes Two, which appears to be like a, a deep blue. I just wanna add some depth on the bottom. I'm just stamping it right on the bottom. I don't wanna go too smoky. I've really learned, it's taken me a long time in drag to learn that when you introduce black shadow, the eye is turning black. So lately I've been really trying to like use dark browns, dark blues, because once you add black, the eyes turn black. This adds some depth. I mean, later when I have my big black eye makeup on, it'll, it'll make sense. So let's do some contouring. I have my quickie concealer to just do contouring. You know, ladies, when you just draw a brown headband on your forehead and call it drag, remember that? It's also crazy because I live in Los Angeles. I'm right in Hollywood by Netflix and all the, you know, the studios, Paramount and everything. And the writer's strike is going on. We literally see people picketing every single day and it's just so crazy. There's so much to it. You know, streaming happened and the industry changed so much. And these people are out there just fighting for like fairer share of the pie. I mean, these writers are literally the reason any show is good. Any good show, the common link is good writing. You can have good actors who like steal the show in a bad movie. You can have cool hair, cool costumes, cool soundtrack. Good writing makes something good. So I just, I hope that these writers get everything they want. I really do. I don't work on anything scripted right now, really. Nothing you guys know about. But you know, I just, I hope these people get what they want. All right, so let's make sure. I've been trying to contour less and less. I recently saw the campaign image for the Mod About You blush palette. And from the front, I was like, wow, my contour is really, my contour used to really sit in the front of my face. And I think when I started phasing that out, everything started to look more lifted and, and a little more beauty. And now when I see a picture of myself with all that contour on the front of my face, I'm like, whoa. So now like that's literally as far as I might take the contour because I don't like the look of like pockets in the front of my face anymore. Look how pretty that blue is. It's the color of, this is kind of a deep cut. You guys know those like gummy sharks? This is like the color of those gummy sharks. I like this. This is really blending out. I'm really into this concealer. This makes me want to get the right color and use it out of drag just as like a little spot treatment. Instead of wearing tinted moisturizer, whatever, just do like two dots under the eye around the nostrils, you know. Let's see, I have this. I'm gonna use the 30NN concealer and that's what I'm gonna use to carve here. By the way, we're back to having guests on the channel. Not to give away too much, we have some really good guests coming up. The bummer about last year being on tour was we had like no time for guests. But this year we are having friends and family. Aha! Uh -huh. Who would you guys like to see on the channel? I have some hopes and dreams. If there's someone you want to be on here, I wouldn't encourage this, but go on Twitter and say, at that person, at Trixie Mattel, why don't you do makeup video together? And then if they don't respond, we know they don't wanna do it. And that's fine. I wouldn't wanna hang out with me either. I mean, be reasonable. 
Michelle, like, I don't think Michelle Obama's gonna make time for me. You know what I mean? Be reasonable within your request. We need to shoot for the goons and the goblins down the street. Now I'm gonna take this lightest shade, this 10, and that's what I'm gonna use to brighten right under here. I think this is gonna turn out though. Like I said, my only gripe with this concealer is it does smell like bubbles. Not bubbles the power of a girl, bubbles the bubbles. Right now, just like middle of the makeup thoughts, this concealer is about a medium buildable coverage. It honestly isn't even super full coverage, which I'm kind of bummed out about, but we'll just hope for the best, like we do on this channel all the time. All right, this looks pretty good. I think I'm ready to powder. I know what you're thinking. Don't you already look like the movie powder? Yes, I do. I have this little one size translucent. I haven't used this in a while, but I quite like it. So let's do it. By the way, fun fact, this is an OG prototype for our Trixie Cosmetics heart sponge. This is the one they sent just for us to test the texture and the shape and everything before they made it really pink with the ribbon. Isn't that crazy? That's what I'm saying. Sometimes you guys see me using products that I'm using like the lab sample from five years ago. So sometimes I'm using a Trixie product, but it's just in some random jar. Normally I don't have the real product like you guys have. I have like the tester. I love this powder. I mean, I haven't used it in a while, but you guys one size. They never, they never drop the ball. Not one single one size product has not worked for me. It's just amazing what they do. Patrick has entered the industry and has provided wonderful high quality products that perform well every single time on every type of person. And that is really hard to do. I get so excited whenever they launch something. That looks pretty good. Bye, Brandon. Everyone say bye, Brandon. Bye. Somebody's on the train right now with their headphones in like, you guys, I have a bunch of my Makeup Forever. I just got the Makeup Forever HD pressed powders. So now I have them in a little palette here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something brave. I'm gonna get up close to you guys and show you guys this foundation. This is what it looks like so far. I think this concealer actually turned out really good. I know sometimes the comments on this channel are like, I hate that you don't get close and show us. And I'm like, I want you to find me a drag queen who wants to get close to the camera and show you the texture in their skin. Her name is Katya. I've been using this Trixie Cosmetics yellow short handle brush here. I have been contouring with my powders, but I'm gonna contour with these bronzers, you guys. I'm so up my own ass and high on my own supply about these incredible bronzers. We did a video where Trixie did an all bronze sun-kissed look. If you guys wanna see that, it's so pretty. I mean, if you look at me in this video compared to that video, the magic of self-tanner is very real. But this is Darling Daisy, which is the shade I use when I'm the most fair. So if you don't know, one of my favorite things about these bronzers is I use the middle shade to do like most of the bronzing. And then I use this deepest shade over here. And that's what I'm gonna use to chisel into the pockets. So look at the dimension of this cheek and then watch when I add. You see that? What a difference. Just gives it a little more rounding. I always think of that stupid exercise they made me do in art class where you draw a ball. I was never a visual artist. Okay, I found art class. I feel like for gay people, art class is supposed to be like your sanctuary. I hated art class. I don't know what it is. I didn't like drawing, painting, sculpting. I didn't like any of that but I loved makeup, so you tell me. Oh, I just fucked that up. As I'm talking about how I don't like visual arts, I'm just fucking up this makeup, okay? I know you guys maybe can't tell on camera, these new HD powders are almost satin finish. I would prefer 100% matte, if we're being honest, but it's fine. Again, and I like to pinch the brush, just like this, to make it more of like a fan brush, and that's what I'll use to go down the middle of this bronzer and do the jawline. Again, this is Darling Daisy. This is the lightest shade. I'm super fair and this works for me. It's not too red, not too yellow. It almost is like a beige bronze, which is good because a lot of bronzers that look really flattering at night, I'm thinking of like NARS Casino or anything really warm like that is so pretty indoors or in the evening, but in actual sunlight at the beach, any bronzer's too red, that sun hits your head and you look like you have mud on your forehead. I'm going to take a little eyeshadow brush here I'm gonna take my lightest powder and that's what I'm gonna to use to set my like brow bone. And then I'm gonna take that brow blade product, that ginger snap, and I'm just gonna do my little, my little brow. I'm the spokeswoman of this. You guys, one side of this pen is a pencil and the other side is a marker. Urban Decay is on some big brain sh I'm gonna get right up in here so you guys can see how I do this. I don't know, we haven't been really breaking down some of my stuff, so let's just do it. Take the tip of the pen and I draw in little hairs. You guys, I really firmly believe with drag makeup, the devil's in the details. I remember once Courtney Act, beautiful, I would love to have her on the channel. Courtney Act once in Provincetown was like, wow, your makeup's so big, but when you get up to it close, there's so much detail. And I was like, <sighs> she's right. You guys, I don't have a new white liner for us to use. I have the KBD and white out, and I'm gonna do my lid and my under eye, and I'm gonna come right back. I wanna do this lid with this color Heartbreak Hotel. It is so beautiful. It's like a whipped foam, like mint foam sage color. Oh. That is so pretty. Wow. Good pastels are hard to come by, but you guys, these Beauty Bay palettes, they really come hard. That is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna do my black liner here. Well, you know what? 
First, let's do mascara, because I find when we're trying mascaras, if I have the black liner on, you guys can't f***ing see anything. So let's give it a fair shot. I have a fabulous curler here. I have the Trixie Cosmetics Curler. Once you become a lash curler person, there's no going back. There is no mascara without lash curlers after you've used lash curlers. Let's do a nice little before and after. You can see on like my little eye, I have really kind of straight, Native American people have very straight hair, straight kind of lashes that kind of go straight down. So I'm gonna curl this sucker and you guys are about to see a whole new world. And then I like to walk it out. Press and hold at the root for truly like 15 seconds. And then you walk up and out. You squeeze and walk up and out. That's how you get the insides to be nice and curled. So this is the Maybelline Volume Express Mascara. I, I find it hard to believe we've never used this, but I don't think we've ever used this. This is in very black and it's waterproof. If you guys don't know, waterproof is usually technically a little more damaging to your lashes compared to a normal formula, but waterproof holds curl better. Volume Express looks like it has a little football nylon brush. You guys see that? I love when mascaras are packaged like this because before you purchase, you can see what the brush is. Anybody who loves mascara will tell you, I think the brush almost matters more than the formula. I love these nylon brushes for separation. I mean, you get a lot of separation. There is a difference. I mean, just applying this waterproof formula to freshly curled lashes, it almost works like hair gel. Like it makes the lashes stay curly. And then with these nylon brushes, I like to twist because it ends up basically combing and raking the lashes into little individual, especially on real people. By real people, I mean like not drag queens. Separation is such a nice thing. If you're gonna wear mascara out in the day in public, look at that shit. Look at this eye to this eye. One eye just looks like it flat up, like doesn't have lashes. That's fierce. So I'm gonna do this to this side and then I'm gonna do my black liner and we'll be right back. All right, so the eyes are done. I think they're really pretty actually. Very, very pretty. I love that green. I have this lipstick that I bought with my own money from CoverGirl a very long time ago and I'd never worn it. This is called Streaker. It's a demi-matte lipstick, but I just thought, is that my type of color or what? Isn't that beautiful? I don't think I've used many CoverGirl lipsticks in my life, except for the, well, to be fair, when we did the CoverGirl video, that was some of the best makeup my skin has like ever. That makeup was one of the best look. When I wore that CoverGirl makeup, my skin looked better than it usually does. How about that? I got this ColourPop lippy pencil. I don't use a lot of ColourPop lip pencils. Let's see. Right, okay, now that I'm using it, I remember ColourPop lip pencils are very soft. Which is fine. It's just gotta sharpen it. I got this little alcohol sharpener. You guys wanna fuck with some good sharpeners. I love the one size one, of course. I love the kimchi one. When the Trixie one comes out, y'all are gonna gag. These little alcohol sharpeners, they're no bells and whistles, nothing fancy, but they're just so durable. They never get clogged, they stay sharp forever. My alcohol sharpeners, I've had them all five plus years. That looks pretty good. I think it needs a little more dimension. I have a brand new pencil here. This is Make It Forever Boundless Berry. You know, this is my shit. I go through like one of these a month. They're just amazing. And let's see her. Let's see this color, Streaker. It's kind of a risky name for a CoverGirl product. CoverGirl's very like all American. Their product, their colors are like confidence, happiness. You know what I mean? This Streaker, like nudity? I like it. You say Demi Matte, I say Satin. This is not, this is Satin. This is not matte at all. But that's okay, I actually really like it. I'm gonna take this ColourPop lip pencil in Good and Plenty and I'm just gonna put it right here. This lipstick is borderline glossy, you guys. This is not matte. Very nude on me, but I really like it. It's very pretty. If I was fake baked right now, I think this would look even better because it would look very like 60s and, and light, but I like it. I have this Real Techniques brush, Custom Complexion. It's for foundation and concealer, but I just want to show you guys. I think this might be a little gimmicky. Look at me having scissors to open products. So the storyline here is that this is supposed to be adjustable for how much coverage you want. So when you want less coverage, you keep it on minimum, and then this is mid, and this is max. Who's putting on product with this? What the f is this? This looks like a women's care item. We'll use it for blush. We'll use it for blush. I grabbed the kimchi. I kind of want to do no blush, but like a peachy highlighter. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, I don't know about her. I'm going to blend that out. It's a no for me. Uh, personally, it's a no for me. It's already happening, so let's just run with it. And then right at the tip of the cheek, I'm gonna use just a little Trixie Cosmetics blending brush, and that's what I'm gonna use for the highlighter, just for the precision of like, right there. I don't think that this works on me. I think that this is like, for the type of drag makeup I do, I think it's bringing out texture a lot. Let's just, let's, everyone calm the f down. Let's just take a face powder and just kind of, kind of go over it, just to take the shine down a little bit. That was, in my eyes, not successful, that application. I'm gonna take the Trixie and Sugar Pill Oh Honey 2 palette. This one has a highlightery blush, but it's not as shimmery. Yeah, 
More pigment. Do you see the difference? Now it has more pigment. I just for drag would never really reach for something that shimmery. So it's time for lashes and drag. So I'm gonna put on the lashes, the fantasy, and I'll be right back. I don't know how I feel about this outfit, but here we are. I'll, I'll tell you this. This is like the third craziest outfit of the three I put on. The first one, I, I don't, I still have half of it on. And I can't, you know, like, so just so you know, like it could always be worse. Love the earrings though. These are uh, purple banana, I believe. Blockbuster earrings, so cool. So let's talk about what we enjoyed, shall we? What do we live for? What do we live, laugh, and love for? Obviously I love this peace out poppy flower part bronzer, but that's because I made it. So I don't know if that's disqualified from saying I love it, but I love it. This kimchi br uh, blush, this is a blush, but you guys, I just gotta show you the texture. For me, I would have marketed this as a highlighter. It's so shimmery, you guys. I mean, all it did on me was accentuate texture. It's not quite enough color, but not quite enough shimmer for a highlighter. This didn't work for me. Kim, don't fight me, I'm sorry. This lipstick, love it. Demi Matte and Streaker. I love the color. I wish it was more matte. I mean, demi matte should mean like soft matte. This is basically satin. It almost looks glossy on. This is like a luster finish. This is not matte. We saved the day with that blush highlighter situation with the oh honey blush. This is wonderful. Luckily this saved the day because that's what really warms it up and made it look like actual blush. This retro love palette, obsessed. Can't wait to use this again. I think this is so fun. It's just a really cool, cool colors, you guys. I mean, I only use two, but look at those nice neutrals. Look at like, it's an off black green with cranberries and, and I'm so into this. I You could do like 30 different eye looks with this sucker. And the quality of the Beauty Bay Shadows is amazing. The Urban Decay Stay Naked Quickie Concealers. Let me give you a final verdict. It's a yes, but it's probably a no for me for drag, but it's a yes for people. If you want a nice medi medium buildable, natural finish concealer that even has a little brush on the end. I mean, again, I would never use that, but this is for someone, but I actually think the quality of it was really nice. ColourPop Pencil, obsessed. This color good and plenty. Look how nice that is. Boundless Berry from Makeup Forever, love her. Always love her. The Alcone Sharpener, love her. Oh. The Urban Decay Brow Blade in Ginger Snap. I really like this color. I think though for a like ginger, like auburn brow pencil, I think this even could have been more red, personally. But on normal people, when you go too warm with your brows, it looks insane, so I get it, I get it. It's better to err on the shy end of like slightly warm than to go like, wow, that person has barbecue sauce colored eyebrows. Love this mascara. I actually really like this Maybelline Rocket Volume and I think it's gonna replace falsies for me. Falsies is what I've been using for a couple months and it's time for me to retire this anyway. Mascara only has a three month period after opening. So you should only have mascara maximum three months. So we're gonna retire this and I'm gonna put this Rocket Volume Express into the rotation. I think this is really cool. We use the one size primer at the top, secure the sweat. This one's really good. The new powders for Makeup Forever, you guys, I have all mine depotted. I preferred the matte velvet because it was more matte. This to me, all over my face right now, it looks satin to me. It actually looks really good on camera. It has a nice like kind of luminosity to it. But in person, you guys, I think having the whole face satin for me, for me, it just is a, it's a giveaway of what the real shapes of my face are. So I'll probably still keep using it, but I did prefer the old version of that powder. Thank you guys for joining me for a nice informal put on makeup video. We haven't like gotten ready for no reason in a very long time. For all of you who stuck with me last year through my big long tour, I'm so happy to be home and just talking about content and again. I love making videos and I can't wait to just make videos all year. We might even around and go to two videos a week. What would you guys think of that? Is that crazy? Let me know. Okay, bye.